hey guys welcome back to my channel so for this video we are going to be doing Capricorn love and relationships 2020 my readings I do a six card spread three at the top three at the bottom and then I do three cards for advice unless they give me more so let's get started here Bottom of the deck, Judgment. This could, to me, this simplifies like maybe somebody preferring what the older you used to be rather than what you are today. Maybe you've outgrown this person or maybe you've been through some trauma in the relationship and they're now looking back like, wow, she used to be this bright, bubbly person. Or my partner used to be this bright, bubbly person. And now they're this. It could also be uh, maybe maybe you're wanting a serious relationship. Instead of going through the dating phase and things like that and searching, you're just ready for a serious relationship. But we're going to dive in deeper to find out what it is here. Five of Pentacles is the first card. I feel like... When I see this card, it's someone either being left out in the cold or maybe someone coming in from the cold. So maybe you guys went through something in the relationship where someone is deciding to walk away or leaving the relationship behind. Or maybe you're coming out of uh, a relationship, a cold relationship even. This could also represent like suffering in a relationship. Maybe you've been suffering in a relationship for a long time that you're just not happy in. And this could even represent like, you know, maybe maybe one of you guys, maybe one of the partners is happy with the relationship, but the other partner is not. Or it may not even be, a, it may not even be a relationship. I mean, it could be love or maybe you're in a situationship where the other person is like, okay, this is what I want. I don't want any attachment. I don't want um, any type of name on this. We just need to be, you know, I hit you up when I hit you up. Or I see you when I see you type of situation. Because the Eight of Swords is showing maybe someone kind of nervous about making the next move. Maybe you feel like if you make the next move, you could possibly get hurt or... If you say something like, hey, I want a relationship, and maybe you're in a situation and want a relationship and you say something, you feel like you're going to get burned or you're going to get cut. Maybe it's going to hurt your feelings. Maybe you're not ready for that answer of what they're going to give you. And when I see the Four of Swords, I see someone as being tired. Maybe you're tired of this situation and you're ready to come out of it. Maybe you're ready to come forward and come out of it. Maybe you're over this. Or it could be vice versa. Maybe they are tired of the situation ship and they're nervous about cutting you off because they want you, but they just don't want you in that way. And the lover's card sitting here, it shows maybe that's what you're wanting you're wanting real love you're tired of feeling left out in the cold you're tired of feeling like you're in this thing by yourself you're tired of this situation ship you want real love and then when I see the two of swords I see a person holding back maybe this person Capricorn that you're in the situation ship with they're holding back their feelings for you they they're holding back some type of information from you that you don't want to know and it may be this three of cups which is a third party situation that's why they want to stick with the situation ship because there's another person on the side you're not their you're you're not their main person that you're just the the go-to when 
they're available. So let's clarify here. Let's get some advice. So if you're wanting some advice for this to find out how, since you're tired and you're ready for this to be over, let's get some advice. Can we have advice for Capricorn Love and Relationships 2020? bottom of the deck yeah is ten of wands which means you're carrying a heavy burden you're carrying this situation ship and, and you're tired you're tired and ready to give up you're, you're ready to let go so eight of swords is showing you know that you're you're not sure what that decision is but with the six of wands once you make the decision you're gonna feel so much better you're gonna be on top you're going to feel like people are going to be praising you. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that person walked away from the situation ship. You're going to come out strong. So I know I know it's hard and you don't know what to do. You don't know what decision to make. Because either way, you're still being hurt. On this side, you're being hurt because you want love. You want love. And that's what it's showing here. On this side, it's showing you want love, so you're suffering because you're in the situation ship. And on the other side, it's showing, well, if I do make this decision to let go, I'm going to miss them. I'm going to miss them because I feel like this is what I want right now. But when you do finally make that decision, you're going to come out on top. You're going to come out on top because you're looking for love, and that's what you, that's what you deserve. Love will be there. Love will come. But you have to be willing to walk away from this situation, this third party situation in order to find your love. So that's what I have for you today, Capricorn. Um, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure you click that like down below. Leave a, a message or comment if this resonates with you and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you guys.